Today we're going to make our own version of this painting by Paul Clay. It's called Castle and Sun. If you look carefully, you can see that it's made up of lots and lots of 2D shapes. Can you see triangles, rectangles, squares, four squares put together to make one big square, if you look carefully there. Um, fat rectangles, thin rectangles, triangles, triangles on top of each other, two triangles together to make a diamond. There's an arch down here and a circle in the sky for the sun. So we're going to make our own picture using 2D shapes and the 2D shapes we've got to use are these. We have an arch which you can use in your picture. We have rectangles. We've got a fat rectangle and a thin rectangle. We also have a square which is a rectangle but it's a rectangle with four equal sides and it has its own special name. Square. We have a triangle. We have a semicircle. And we have a circle for our sun. Now, I've made one of these pictures already to show you, and I made my picture symmetrical. So I put three arches with one above, two rectangles, squares, four triangles together. So my picture is symmetrical, which means that it's the same on both sides. Paul Clay's picture is not symmetrical. So your picture doesn't have to be, it's entirely up to you whether you make it symmetrical or not. So to make our picture, we need some paper. A pencil and the 2D shapes. I'm going to start by drawing round some of the shapes to make my picture. I'm going to start in the middle with an arch. But you can start wherever you want to. And then I've noticed that if I put two triangles together, I can make a square. But you can try that. Already this picture is not symmetrical, is it? because this is not right in the middle of where I was. I think I'll put a small rectangle there. And another arch at this side. So I'm going to carry on building up my picture. Now I've gone around all my shapes. Some of my shapes have gone over the top of other shapes. So why that's happened I'm just going to use the rubber to rub out the shape that I don't want and keep the one that I do want to be in the front, so there and there. I want these triangles to look a bit like turrets for my castle. And now I need to draw around the sun in the sky. I think I might put, it will fit there, or it would fit there. I think I'm going to put it here. So remember when you're drawing round shapes you need to keep one hand on the shape, keep it still otherwise you won't get a good shape and then go around it. And now we're going to outline all our shapes with oil pastel. 
So if we go back and look at Paul Clay's picture, they're highlighted in white. So that's what I did with my picture here. I went round the shapes with a white oil pastel. So you can use, we've got a whole, we've got brand new sets of black and white oil pastels. So you can either use the black or you can use the white. I'm going to use the white and I'm going to start outlining all the shapes. Now it's really important when you do this that you press hard because otherwise it won't show up when you paint over. Now, it's hard to see the white. You probably can't even see it on the video as I'm doing it. But if you make sure that you go over all your lines and you press quite hard like this, you'll know that you've done it. So you need to work in an organized way to make sure that you've gone round each shape. Pressing hard, usually if it goes over the edge onto the messy mat, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to carry on doing this now. So now I've outlined all my shapes in white, I'm going to use coloured oil pastels to colour them in. If you've used black, it'd be a lot easier to see where your lines are. So in some ways, using black is easier. So I'm going to start colouring in using my oil pastels. So I think I'll start with this here and do it red. So, we've had lots of experience of using oil pastels, so you know that you need to press quite hard when you're using them and try and fill in the gaps. When you were doing your penguin, I don't think I did white on that bit there, let me get the white back. Just looking, I can't see, maybe I did, but I can't see it. When we're doing our penguin, we'll learn how to blend oil pastels to make them fit in together. So I might go over this with orange. Can you see how that's blending it and making it softer? It doesn't matter if you leave some little bits of white because we're going to go over them later with paint. Um, now I think I will use yellow. Okay, I'm going to carry on doing this. Or do you watch me and fast forward? So now I've finished doing the colouring. I notice that there's some little bits of oil pastels so I just might rub that. Be careful not to dirty, like I'm doing now, dirty fingers. I think that's okay, and so I'm going to paint over it now. So I'm going to use red, because in this Paul Clay picture, he's got like a sunset sky, so I thought I'd do that. But if you wanted to use blue, like I did on my original picture, you can use blue. So, I'll start painting over the red. Now if I put the white oil pastel on properly, it will resist the paint and stand out. I'm going to paint over all the bits I've done, even the bits that I've coloured, because the paint will go into those little white holes and make it look really interesting. It's important to use your brush to just push the paint into the little holes. It gives texture to your picture which is an element of art. So the elements of art we've used in this picture is our shape. We've looked at lots of different shapes colour. I've used different colours in it. I've tried to make sure that the colours are balanced so I don't have all red at one side and all blue at the other. We've also used texture in doing this and putting the paint into the little holes. That's creating texture in our picture. It almost looks as if the castle walls are bumpy 
because of the way that the paint goes into it. So really take your time with this. Make sure you go over all the little bits. I missed a bit of that, look. We've used line, which is another element of art in our picture because we've drawn lines to create shape. And that is my castle in the sun picture, all painted. So where the sun is, where I put red over, it's made it look like a glowing sunset sun. Just a bit there. It's important to have another look and check to see if you've missed any bits like I had when you're doing yours. So we have our castle and sun picture.